We've talked a lot in the last few weeks about a car shortage. Companies are struggling to get microchips from overseas, meaning they can't power their newest models. But it's not just new cars that are in short supply. Now, even a used vehicle can be hard to come by. Tiffany Craig explains why. Pick a used car lot. You may notice something missing. Where are all the used cars? There's a shortage, a surprise to Javier Padilla. I don't want to go buy a car. There are no cars. Javier just moved from New York and needs his own wheels for a new job. Reliable every day, it doesn't break down. A gas saver. And if it can look good, that's a bonus. But finding one will be tough. I usually keep about 80 units. Look at this. Since supply is so low, used car dealer Tony Haddock says trade-in prices are through the roof, and that trickles down to customers. If the vehicle that they were buying last year around this time for $20,000, they are going to be paying $26,000, $27,000. Tony, this is crazy. App madness. I've never seen anything like this. Here's what's going on. Fewer new car sales in the past year equals fewer trade-ins. Rental car companies buying used to replace its fleet. On top of all that, there's a global microchip shortage. The chips used in computers and wireless devices also add technology to new cars. That shortage is slowing down production. All of this has pushed the average used car price to its highest level ever, more than $25,000. Here's a piece of advice I never thought I'd hear from a used car salesperson. If you're in the market to buy right now and you can wait, wait. I completely agree with that. Jonathan Banks is with marketing research firm JD Power. He says used car prices are going up 2% a week. Tough for buyers, but a dream for sellers. If you have a car sitting in your driveway that you don't use very much, it's time to sell. For shoppers, Carfax has some advice. There's kind of this competitive feeling. You find the perfect vehicle, inventory short, you just want to go buy it. You really need to take that breath and make sure you do the, the homework as well. Javier will keep on looking, but if you can wait, industry analysts predict car sales will level out when the chip shortage ends, which could be early next year.